Welcome back to our summer student research series. Today we are looking at two different projects that are in two different departments, but they are both uh, looking at the health and well-being operatively of steers. So let's introduce our students. Hi, my name is Laura Carolina Neira Torres. I'm a rising second year here at the College of Veterinary Medicine. And I'm Derek Foster. I'm an associate professor of ruminant medicine here at NC State. Hi, my name is Maya Kiefer. I'm a rising third year here at NC State. Hi, uh, my name is Kelly Varner and I'm an assistant clinical professor of anesthesiology here at uh, NC State. So let's learn a little bit about the overview of these projects and um, you know what you guys are doing this summer. We'll start with the anesthesiology side. Over 500,000 cows every year are going to undergo a standing abdominal surgery. So we are looking at two different techniques um, that are commonly used to desensitize the surgery site. Because there's such a significant number of animals that all undergo surgery, we believe that improving our abilities to um, create uh, analgesia and anesthesia of the surgical site has the potential to broadly impact welfare in the United States for our um, uh, bovine species. And then how about on the surgical side? What is the overview of your project for the summer? Well, we we're going to see the drug concentrations on different sites where we administered um, antibiotics, which was intramuscular and intraperitoneum on those surgery that Maya mentioned. Yeah, so many of our bovine surgeries are done in areas that might not be ideal, like in the barn, like what we're standing in. And so antibiotics are often going to be administered to prevent post-operative infections. Unfortunately, we don't really know the best route by which we should administer them. And so the goal of our project was to better provide that answer to pra practitioners who are out there doing these surgeries. So we have two different departments here, our Department of Population Health and Pathobiology and our Department of Molecular Biomedical Sciences. Can you explain a little bit how these projects come together and how you guys are working collaboratively on them? We are working with Dr. Foster as his study and the steers that are going to be used in it are going to need anesthesia anyway. So by working together, we're able to reduce the numbers of animals used for these projects as a whole. Um, also, it's nice to work together because we're able to work on improving animal welfare through us focusing on better ways to provide pain relief and analgesia for cattle. Um, and then Dr. Foster and Laura working on better ways to prevent post-operative infections. Can you tell us a little bit about your role in this project and kind of what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, um, basically I was able to scrub in with Dr. Foster in all of the surgeries and was able to see how those types of surgeries were done and how important is the antibiotic administration on those types of surgery. I also was able to help with the collection of data for all the information that we need for later analysis of the drug concentrations that we're going to do. So I was providing the anesthesia for the cows. I was blinded, so I didn't know which of the two treatments they were getting. And after I provided that local block, I stayed with them for the rest of the surgery. And I was tracking vital signs like heart rate and respiratory rate, as well as pain scores, uh, reaction scores during surgery. So like, how are they looking at the surgeon or are they just standing there chewing their cud? And then after the surgery, I was also keeping track of pain scores, heart rate, respiratory rate, um, when they went back to their stall and then for 24 hours after they were back in their stall. And as DVM students, what is this, uh, project and this journey this summer meant to you in terms of your academic growth or your growth towards becoming a veterinarian and your interests in there? Well, I came here to the vet school not knowing what I wanted to do. And like a lot of people, I know that I love small animals and I love ruminants. And when I saw this research like to apply for, I was really interested obviously in the in field practice but also in the mentorship because I haven't had a lot of exposure to large animals since I got I started vet school because I was in first year so it was more about like the basics of anatomy and all that so when I saw that I could like be mentored by a professor that is well known in the vet school and about a topic that I'm really interested about which is um, cows 
I was very interested so I applied and met Dr. Foster and everything so yeah. So I have always known that I wanted to be a vet. I grew up with cows uh, around my house and so when I got into undergrad and started working towards vet school I really quickly realized that I wanted to work with large animals and I have been really lucky to have uh, a lot of experience working on farms. About a month before Dr. Varner had given a talk in our anesthesia class and I was like I want to work with her. She's so excited about working with large animals. She's so excited about like making sure that they get the best experience possible and looking at her project I was like I'm also going to use that very regularly when I get out into practice. So it was a really good uh, learning opportunity for something that I know I'm going to use in the future. It was a really good mentorship opportunity that um, has been great. So I'm really grateful to be here.